think if you're a consumer, you think, oh, not another wine guide. You know, haven't we got enough of those already? And I think that we're bringing a couple of unique features, and that is that we've got a tasting panel of six people that have all got completely diverse backgrounds. We have a, a taster from Portugal who's bringing us a sort of a European perspective. Michael has a strong food background. Norma was a winemaker. She's bringing us a technical perspective. Kathy was running a, a wine bar. She's bringing us a, a commercial perspective. David's a sommelier and I'm a wine writer. So I think we're trying to produce a guide which will appeal to the diverse nature of the South African wine drinking population. The second thing is that we're tasting within price categories, which I think in these times of economic uncertainty is very, very interesting because everybody's looking for a good deal. And I think it will be possible to buy a cheaper wine and actually even move up in quality. And of course the fact that we're tasting blind, so we're not prejudiced. For example, one of the wines that we were actually very impressed with was Chateau Libertas. But the, the, the problem is if you're tasting sighted, you would be prejudiced against it because it is a very large brand. So I think that we're trying to be fair. I do the same guide in Portugal. I just uh, rate and taste wines in between 5 and 10 euros. I think as an overall idea, the blind tasting is the, is the most fair of the tasting procedures. Just tell us 167. 167 Slady. Oh, okay. 168 Divos Fontaine. Oh, what a surprise. No, really? What a surprise. What a surprise. Did you get it? Which one is yeah. uh, Have you smelt it? I mean, it comes out of the glass. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. There's no doubt. <laughs> we're trying to be honest. We're trying to be realistic. We're anti-snobism. We're anti... We're not admitting that we know all the answers and our guide's not going to be perfect, but it's going to give a recommendation of a couple of hundred wines and we will give a reason why we liked it because I think too often a score is an excuse. You say, this wine rated 90 out of 100. What does that mean? It doesn't tell you what the wine tasted like and it doesn't tell you if you as a consumer would like that style of wine. Thank you. There's a saying in Afrikaans, El Kapoike Hetze Dexel, every pot has got its own lid. And I think of all of these unusual styles, you'll always find somebody who likes that. And our task is to actually link up. It's like a Lonely Hearts Club. We've got to link up that style of wine with that style of consumer and say this will actually appeal to you.